In the other dimensional mirror universe there is no united federation of planets. Only a cruel Terran empire, where advancement comes through assassination, brutality is commonplace and kindness is a weakness. The Terran Empire is on its last legs in its war with the klingon cardassian alliance, but Captain Picard has learned of a final chance for victory, a revolutionary new galaxy-class starship that could turn the tide of the war. The ship is called Enterprise, and Picard intends to take it. The Enterprise is the key. Finally a chance to leave this junk heap behind and command a truly great starship. A vessel worthy of my abilities. And I'll be damned if I let anyone else have her. Especially that preening jackass, Jellica. I've no great love for trusting subordinates, but it's the only way this plan can work. <gasps> <sighs> Bloody hell! Mm. Come on out. He needs to work on his cardio. Get that mess cleaned up, gentlemen. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the ISS Enterprise. It's a continuing mission to conquer strange new worlds, to enslave new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Enjoy your workout, Captain. Not as relaxing as I would have liked, Inquisitor. Captain, you're hurt. It'll be fine, Deanna. Our plan is on track. Geordie LaForge has agreed to get us the keys to the Enterprise command codes and security clearance. Everything we'll need. I'll be counting on you, Barclay, to work closely with Mr. LaForge and Data to make this all work. One mistake in this transfer of command and we're all done for. Understand? Uh, yes, Captain. But there are two more things we need. And, I think, Inquisitor, you are uniquely positioned to provide them. The first thing we need is to carefully evaluate and decide upon which crew members we'll be taking with us to the Enterprise. I want the people we can trust most. And not the people who may already be planning to kill me. I was thinking that you, in your capacity as an Inquisitor, You'd like me to scan the minds of likely candidates among the crew. Precisely, but be subtle. I want them thinking it's just a routine Imperial check for loyalty and right thinking. And the second thing you need? I've learned how to keep certain things from you when I needed to, Inquisitor. The second thing we need is a high-level contact on the Enterprise to make this work. The first officer, as a matter of fact. I believe you've been acquainted with him? We're not on the best terms, but then, you already know that don't you? Fine. I'll reach out to him. I see you've been promoted since our last session. Just last month. I'm not sure I'd be in this position without the captain's support. I think he's great. But don't tell anyone I said that. I don't want to be ostracized. Can I trust you, Inquisitor? Of course, Lieutenant. Everything you tell me is confidential. Some people are saying the Captain is weak. Not me, of course. You seem to have acclimated well since transferring aboard. I'm here to work. Treat me fairly. I have no problem with anyone. Your reports indicate a certain unhappiness with your staff. Their incompetence, all of them. This whole damn ship. I wouldn't count on a single one of them. Captain, I've got a list of the best picks. Fine, I'll look it over. Some of the crew members on my list are better than others, but I think I've managed to pick out about 100 of the best people. 
These are the ones most likely to show some loyalty when we need it most, or at least aren't actively disloyal. This wasn't easy, Captain. I've never scanned so many people in such a short period of time. There are a lot of disenchanted people on this ship. Angry, fearful, concerned. Oh, I am well aware, to tell you the truth. I think we're getting off the Stargazer just in time. We'll have a fresh start on Enterprise with a better, stronger crew. But one thing is still bothering me. How are we going to get all these people onto the Enterprise? I've tasked Data and Barclay with solving that. That sort of engineering exercise is perfect for those two. What I'm more worried about is LaForge. If he can't deliver on his lofty promises, we're dead in the water before we begin. Lieutenant LaForge, what are you doing here? Well, I was just in the neighborhood, a few floors up, and I thought I'd stop in to see you. Wow, look at that view! I was just having some dinner. Would you like to come in? Don't mind if I do. I was just thinking, Leia, about when you and I were working on the Enterprise Animana Containment Project, and how I missed making you laugh and the reflection of the phase coil in your eyes. Oh, Jordy. Oof. All right, La Forge. What are you up to? <coughs> what game are you playing? Uh, it's not a game. Spare me your excuses. What do you want? And what do I get out of it? How about, how about if we sit down and eat, and I'll tell you all about it. All right, all right, Jordy. But you're on thin ice here, so this better be good. So, I've been talking to Captain Picard from the Stargazer. Picard, isn't he the one with that crazy robot? That's the one. So here's our plan. Let me know what you think. This is quite a tale, La Forge. But how are you ever going to get security clearance to get on Enterprise to make all those changes? You'll have to do it on board. You'll never get through the security protocols from down here. That's where you'll come in. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yes, look, you work with me on this. And I'll make you my executive officer for engineering. You'll have all the technology of the Enterprise at your disposal. All those experiments you've always wanted to do. You can do them all, and you can even check out data. Really? Everything you've ever dreamed of will be yours. Everything. Everything. Welcome back to the Enterprise, Doctor Brahms. Will you be here long? Long enough to do what needs to be done. Dismissed. Are you the new chief engineer? Yes, I am. Lieutenant Commander Leland T. Lynch at your service. You must be Dr. Browns. It is an honor to meet you. Would you mind showing me the diagrams for the warp core? I'm going to need to see everything for a final inspection. Right this way. You can use my station to pull everything up. Oh, it's all going just fine. I'm just making sure everything stays that way going forward. Picard must really want this ship to be willing to try something this risky. According to the captain, this is an opportunity that cannot be passed up. Do you disagree? Oh no, I'm on board with the plan. If there's going to be one unstoppable ship in the galaxy, I'm going to be honored. I just know that if this scheme doesn't work exactly as planned, we're all dead men. Even the simplest plan of action, no matter how well assessed, requires a certain degree of risk, and the judgment of that risk, I find, defies simple calculation. Data, can I ask you something? Undoubtedly, you are able to. Whether or not you do remains your prerogative. Down there at the spire at Utopia Planitia, when you took over the workstation, what happened down there? That didn't seem like you at all. I 
decided it was time to show some initiative. What did that feel like? It felt like being alive. Mars, Utopia Planitia, the laborer's slum, just outside the spire. Are you William Riker? Who's asking? The name is Picard. We have a mutual friend. Diana Troy. She she was supposed to meet me here. God damn it. I should have known she wouldn't show. What the hell do you want? It may be better if we talk privately. Get lost. Whatever you're selling, I'm not interested. It may be better if we talked privately. I'll not say it a third time. So, Picard, talk. I know all about it, Riker. The Galaxy-class ship. The Enterprise. And I want it. What? How do you know about that? I intend to take it, Riker. It will be easier to accomplish with your help. But make no mistake, I intend to take it with or without you. Don't pretend you're loyal to that insipid fool, Jellico. You probably want him dead more than I do. Jellico is exactly where I want him for now. The devil I know is better than the devil I don't. Why should I trust you? Because if I wanted you dead, you'd already be dead. The hell I would! <laughs> ah! Ah! I told you to get the hell out, Picard. You should have listened. Oh! I'll not say it a third time, pompous ass. <laughs> yeah, daddy! <laughs> Still with us, Picard. Come and see. Crack. Later. I'll say this for you, Picard. You may not be the toughest man I've ever met, but you're goddamn close. So, why don't you tell me about this plan of yours? Let me get you something. What are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> 